And let's face it, the horse was the shining star in that last little cringy moment deal. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Netflix's newest film, He's All That, which is a remake to 1999's She's All That, which I absolutely adore. So when I heard about this movie, I was just like, why? Why are you remaking this movie? And then of course we have to gender swap it. Let me just go really quickly into the positives in this movie because I'm sure it's no surprise. There's not that many. We do have Rachel Lee Cook back and we do have Matthew Litter back in this film. No, they're not playing the same <laughs> characters, but they do a very good job as being the mom and the principal. Cause you know, in these kind of teen movies, they're not really that much of importance. And let's face it, they're only there for us, the adults, the ones that love the movie early on or knew of the movie early on. Cause I do know that a lot of people regardless don't really like She's All That. Kourtney Kardashian is also in the film. Yes, she is a positive, very slight positive, but a positive. Um, she does have like little uh, scenes here and there. She's not in it too, too much, but Unlike uh, Kim, she definitely does have a better acting bod. And then lastly, there's a really beautiful horse here. It's only in the movie a little bit. And let's face it, the horse was the shining star in that last little cringy moment deal. But the horse is probably one of the better actors in the movie. On to the negatives. The main um, actress... I had no idea who that girl was, okay? So I had to look her up as I was watching the movie because I couldn't honestly care less. Um, the main uh, character is played by Allison Ray. I think that's her name. Either way, she's a freaking TikTok girl, dancer. I don't know. She's a, a TikTok famous person. And because, you know, we are in the time that we are in now, we give TikTokers movies now as far as for the teenage actors the only other people that i knew was tanner i'm not even gonna uh, i don't even know how to pronounce his last name he plays the geeky ugly guy that they're making over cameron or the laney of this story and of course i know him from uh cobra kai but like do you not see him like i'm gonna put a, p a picture of him like he's freaking like hot he is over 18, right? I think he is. Let's hope so. Otherwise, this is going to be cringy, which matches with the story. They do sneak in a little Cobra Kai moment there where he's like using his little karate skills. And when he they do his makeover, honestly, it's like they just shave his face, you guys. And they just put like a nice suit, fitting suit. Oh, they cut his hair a little bit. The other one that it took me a minute to actually know who she was was Madison Peets or Petites or whatever the hell her name is she's a little girl from the game plan you guys that's literally probably the last time I remember seeing her was like tiny and I remember seeing her I'm like oh you're gonna grow up you're gonna be so beautiful and she is she is gorgeous I love her hair she's a bitch here the asshole the mean girl I mean they're like friends or whatever the story is terrible the script is just so freaking cringy the acting just overall is not really good camera angles like I don't even know uh, the music choices were terrible. They also have like a whole prom moment like they did in the first one. But let me just say, the fucking prom here was like 1999's prom. <laughs> it's like up here, living his best life. And right about now, the fuck so rough. Check it out now. The one in here, what the hell was that? Some like TikTok moves. I don't even know the song. Song was terrible. The song choices all here were terrible. The asshole boyfriend of Pageant, that's her name, Pageant, the Addison chick. Um, that's like the ex boyfriend. They were like a couple goals in, in Instagram. Oh my god, he's such a douchebag. His like auto tune singing cringe. He's always taking off his shirt. The movie in general is just full of Gen Z bullshit, you guys. This should have been like a direct to video type of movie. Not even on Netflix, just direct DVD. So before I do give you my score, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. So I was going to try to be nice and give it a small popcorn, but I just can't. So I am giving He's All That a kernel, which is the lowest of the lowest in my channel. I don't really give them that often, you guys. I think this year, this is probably like the second 
movie maybe the third that i've given that to if you've seen he's all that let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you are you planning on checking it out are you just gonna skip on it which is what i recommend for you to do dear viewers i'm sure though that this is gonna be i mean i don't even think this is gonna be for the generation of today i mean like i said it is full of like the bullshit that it is <laughs> like totally social media followers and everything so it really does appeal to like the kids of today the teenagers but even at that like i oh and it's also full of like like sponsorships and like product placements like it's very very noticeable watch she's all that that one's like way better i don't i really don't know how it's aged because i still love it great cast like I said, we got Rachel Lee Cook, we got Matthew Little, we got Freddie Prince Jr., we got the late and wonderful uh, Paul Walker, Gabrielle Union, Usher is in that. All right, you guys, that is it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.